I just want to ask Maya because I, I must say, Maya, I was really impressed by the, everything you said in the morning. Really has turned out to be true. But you did say one other thing, which uh, looking ahead may now get even worse, and I want to ask you about that, and that's violence on the streets. Uh, if Trump doesn't make it as the bookies are suggesting, but you know, the bookies could change in five minutes, but either side don't make it in such a tight race. Is that another forecast of yours that is going to be worse than you even thought it would be, violence on the streets? Well, I certainly hope that's a forecast that won't sort of come true. But, you know, um, reports that I've been, I've been in touch with people on the phone from coast to coast uh, and a large part of uh, the Midwest as well in the United States. You know, there are reports coming in of sort of just uh, supporters of President Trump who've been gathering in large numbers. Uh, there were some incidents when they were yesterday, at least in New York City, where they were blocking access points into and out of the city uh, on the New Jersey side and the upstate side, uh, things like that. Uh, so there is a lot of provocation. There's anger on the street. There's provocation. A few months ago, I don't know if you remember, uh, we saw images in Louisville, Kentucky, where you had white militias on the street armed to the teeth. I mean, remember that, you know, uh, the, the right to own guns, the Second Amendment in the United States is a really sort of core tenet of Republican uh, politics as well, the freedom to have that right and to own, uh, own guns. And that led to all kinds of gun violence in the United States. So if I can own a gun, I'm angry enough to use it, uh, you know, and people are doing it. And these militias are arming. There is concern about the way they are provoking uh, whether they're, uh, you know, black communities or Hispanic communities. We saw Black Lives Matter become unruly, violent protests. We've seen images yesterday as well of stores in New York, Washington, D.C., big cities, all boarded up. These are not signs for a healthy democracy. Yeah. And I think even if uh, Joe right. Biden scrapes through with a squeaky lead, uh, what we are seeing is a very, very fractured America. And, and that, you know, Trump Correct. is not lost. He, he cannot... Nobody can say that he's lost this election if he loses the Electoral College by two or three seats. The fact is, this is not a mandate against Trump necessarily then. And I think there's, you know, th Quite there true. is concern about the kind of violence it will, uh, it will evoke. And I keep talking about the fact that, you know, one kind of violence feeds another. So if you have right-wing violence, there will be a backlash somewhere. We don't know where it comes from. It's worrying. It's extremely okay, worrying. Okay, I, I have one major other question, follow-up. With all your brilliance... What are you doing there? Why aren't you in the NDTV studios? You didn't call me. Oh, don't answer that. Don't answer that. <laughs> <laughs> I forgive you. Vishnu, save us. <laughs> yeah, Maya should have been here. <laughs>